So, hi everyone, as you can see, this is the video for the tutorial uh, for the Batman Battinson mask, or this can be used for many others. But what you'll need is a carnival mask base. So you, these can be bought in any art shops, you know, and I, I got this specifically in a costume shop called Elliot's here in Ireland. But yeah, guys, these are good for base features for the forehead, for the nose, all the facial features that you'll need for, you know, a good curl or a good helmet base. And yeah, what we're going to do is draw around here. So I've already got one that I'm going to show you guys, but we're going to cut off the mouthpiece here. If you want to use this for a full helmet, you can keep the mouth on, which we'll be doing in a future video. We'll cut off around here so that we'll just need this top half of the mask. So you can see I have a ruler line going across the middle and I'm just going to finish this off for you. But if you want, you can use a ruler or you can use a piece of paper and place it along the nose. So just along the tip of the nose. And then you'll want to get a straight line. And then I'm just going to follow it along with my pencil. Now you can use pen, but I like to use pencil in case I make a mistake. And you don't have to follow the lines exactly, guys, but with the Battinson mask, his comes along the mouth here. And if you want, you can follow the grooves of the mask. So there actually is like, if you just follow the border of the nose, coming down, go along the top of the nostrils here, and then just shoot off in a straight line. Then when we get to the cheek part, we're gonna go up at an angle. So we're gonna go up like this. You can just see like that. And that's gonna give us our nice mouth shape. So I wanna make it really angular. And there we have our line. So this is where I'm gonna be cutting along and we'll just cut this off as you'll see in the next part. And this is what we get. So we'll just cut the mouth off like that. Now you can use this piece here this can be used for a mouth guard for Winter Soldier, for Red Hood, his new, you know, rebirth run. It can be used for a lot of things. I used it for Arrow Earth X. So don't be throwing this away. These things are really good. So keep this. That's the bottom half of the mask that we just cut off. Put that to one side and you'll be left with this. So I've drew on already some of the eyebrows and the eye. So you can just see in here, I went in with a pencil. I've already drew in the eye lines that I'll be cutting out. And then I've drew in the eyebrow shape also. These are the pieces that we're gonna be doing when we're gonna be getting the face base done. I'll show you the angle also. So it just comes off a right dip up here. which just comes across straight along the cheek and then a diagonal line right up. If you can just see that right there. What we're gonna do now is cut around the edge. So if you can just see here, this flat piece that just sort of when this was vacuum pressed or when, you know, when it was pressed down and made from the mold, it had that little piece of plastic coming around the edge. And what we're going to do is cut that off and that's going to help it sit more flush to our face. So I'll just come back when that's done. Yeah. So guys, uh, we just cut that piece off here, toss that to the side. That'll help it sit more flush to the head because it just had a bit of a border. But in here in the eyes, guys, so I have a template right here, just a piece of Paltex. You can use paper or whatever you want. I've sort of went in and looked up the design of what I thought the eye was going to be. Let's see if I can get, the, there we go. That was that shape right there. And you can just see it fits in to where I've drew the line. So if I take that away, then you'll just flip it over to the other side and do the same on the other side. Okay, so if you just want to get the symmetrical shape, one side, flip it over to the other, and that's you. The eyebrows, we have this piece of paper template here. And what we're going to be using the paper templates also for, I'll show you, is this, here, and here. So these pieces right here are going to be your fundamental pieces of what we're going to use for the head base. So this is going to be your side piece. Now you can see if you want to just, I may be putting up these templates. You can use any shape, you know, that's going to fit your head. But this is going to go for my ear right here. And it's just going to wrap around my head. This piece here is going to be coming to the back of my head. That's going to fold in there. This is just a wee top piece that comes to the temple and just puts in there. So guys, it all goes together sort of like a mini puzzle. If you just can see that all there, put them all together. This is what's going to build up all our pieces. So. So now that we have our pieces guys, you can see one, two, and three, and they are the same. 
you'll want to double them up so if you want to go back and you'll just cut the exact same shapes only the opposite side and you'll get doubles for each side but they're going to go together like that and that's going to come down and fit into there now everything doesn't have to fit exactly right what we're going to be doing is matching up the lines and stuff but this is the pattern that i use for the head so this is just the side piece where your ear goes this is more for the back of your head and then this is to fill in a gap in between the top and uh your forehead so yeah these are just traditionally the pieces that i use if you want to keep paper templates of anything that you use or that's going to fit your head and then we're going to be using these and gluing these to the mask base itself okay i'm going to start to glue it together guys and what you're also going to want to do is use some border so if you have any scrap material of eva foam or cardboard what you'll want to do is cut some strands like some just straight line pieces here like this and you'll want to get maybe as many of these as you want and these are going to be your borders so what you're going to do is put these in here like that you'll want to have half of it glued in and half of it showing just like that so that you can then attach this piece onto that it'll sit nice and flush along with the line you can just see there and also you won't be gluing anything straight to the plastic because the hot glue will melt and it'll burn through with the plastic it'll start warping the shape this way if you just glue a tiny piece here and you'll want to border it off so you'll want to glue here and then around here and just go all the way around the edge and just border off the whole mask i'll show you right now and we're going to start gluing this whole thing together but they're just the essential pieces that you're going to want to use to build this thing up guys you can use any head shape or you know templates that you want i hopefully will be uploading these and let's get straight into it Guys, another bit of advice before you glue on everything maybe cut out the eyes first as well because you can sort of maneuver around it better if you haven't got side pieces on it i sort of forgot to do that so i'm going to go ahead and do that now this is the next step so i had this piece this is going to be for the top of your head here okay now you can just see it here i hopefully will be uploading these templates but this was for a flash code. Uh, you don't have to have this little piece, but I'll just show you here when I cut it into the Paltex and how it's just going to work out. It's really good shape for the back at the top of the head for when, you know, things are actually for the Batman. So yeah, so like before guys, we're going to use Paltex. Uh, if you want, it's going to sometimes come rolled up like this in a circle and you want to use the curve. So you can see it wants to roll up on itself so i'm going to use the curve like this just to go around the top of my head like that okay if we tried it that way it'd want to be curving that way which we don't want we want it to be going sideways. so if sometimes if anything comes pre-rolled or pre-packaged try and use you know the curve or what it's actually been folded to and then look at this piece i'm going to draw around this so now we have two pieces so here was the paper template and now we have the Paltex template. And that's just gonna go in here and go along the head, or the top of the head like that. You can just see here, guys, we're gonna wrap it around here, or I'll glue it in to the top of the head part. Like that. It's gonna give us a nice shape all in all. We're gonna flatten down this piece right here. You can just see to give us a nice blend. 
and then you can see where the gaps where we just need to fill in right here and that's where everything will sort of start to come together yeah that's sort of the base head starting and we'll glue it all together now So hi everyone, here we are with the rest of the mask. So we just have this piece in here. You can see we have the side piece, the back piece, and then the third piece going on here. We have the top of our head piece going along here. And then along the back, again, the side piece, the back piece. And all we have to do is fill in this V temple piece here. That's just gonna plug in there like that. And we're just gonna glue it in place. So your mask has now built up all its shape just from a carnival mask and I'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six to seven pieces all in all just glued around and you have a nice dome shape. What you're gonna do afterwards, we're just gonna go in with the eyebrows and we're gonna go in and make the nose piece, glue those on. And then we're gonna strengthen up all of the inside of in here. So all of the pieces, we're just gonna curve them up slightly on the inside, make all these lines in here, stuff like this, a bit more curved. And it's just, it helps it with when it looks better, it'll uh, look a bit more circular. But I'm gonna try and uh, you can see, I just have to glue that on and there like that. That's just gonna curve in. And it gives me a nice shape for the helmet. And then once I put this piece in here, but yeah, this is the helmet bait. Again, a head mannequin is a perfect addition. So a head mannequin right here. They are, I have drew it, you know, right here, the sections coming along there and they really do help with the overall process. So let's get into gluing in the missing pieces, gluing it all together, and then we're gonna glue on the eyebrow, the nose, and then wrap it all in the fabric. So guys, for the eyebrow, I have a paper template here that I've just cut out. Uh, it sort of goes up in an arc and then down again. It goes thin on this side and sort of thicker on the outside. And what we're gonna do is just use our Paltex. You can use cardboard or EVA foam. And then I'm just going to draw around it. I don't know if I'm going to do one or two layers of this. So I might actually, you know, build it up a bit and thicken it up. Because before on the last one that I made, uh, I've made three all in all. The last one, the second one, wasn't as thick. Uh, my first one was really thick eyebrows. The second one, I tried to go more subtle. So now with this third one, I'm actually going to go a bit thicker, but more curved. So you can just see that shape there. I may cut a cut in here and a cut in here so that when I cut in here, I can curve them slightly. And we're just gonna cut this out in doubles and I may double layer this up as well. So I'll show you those now. So guys, using the paper templates, we now have our eyebrow shapes. And what I've done as well is when in the back and you can just see these lines, drew up the middle, well, up the center of them. And I've went in the back with a pair of scissors or just something sharp slightly cut in the back and made a groove so that when i bend them slightly if i hold it close to the camera you can see the definition it gives just gives it a different dimension so if you just want to do a line up in the middle and go down sort of put a groove in the eyebrow so just put some glue guys in the back and there and let's give it a better shape it holds better makes it sit nice so instead of this shape flat you can just have a nice definition shape a tiny details all in all help and then this is just going to curve around and go on the mask so we'll just start to cut our nose piece now so for the nose guys what you want to do is start it with a paper template and you may want to fold it in half so you can do that and then you want to do this sort of shape so it goes across comes down to a diagonal line straight down and then right across the bottom now you want to leave a straight edge for the tip of his nose you'll unfold it and you get something like this and then again you'll do a creased line so he has like a flat bit here right at the front of his nose right at the front bit and then he has the two pieces coming around you can make this in one piece if you want to do it like this or you can make it in three pieces so one two and three glue them together and then use whatever you're using the materials and then you can put some slight grooves here in the back again with a pair of scissors or a sharp object now watch please be careful when you are using it 
and you'll get a sort of straight edge line like that and that's going to go around for your nose now this was a bit thin so i did this one and i put some glue here in the back but again this was too diagonal the line for his nose for going down the front it's sort of a straight line but it has a slight diagonal line to it at the front here it was a bit too open a bit too flat so i went in again and i did a slightly better one you can just see here and it's just a tiny bit smaller than this so this one here has a bit of a more diagonal front i want to put some glue here in the back of where i put the grooves and this will just hold it in place and secure it and it'll give you a nice hardened piece so you'll just see here hold it in place like that and it'll give those edges a nice straight line all the way down okay so this is just going to go around for the nose we have our eyebrow pieces here and now we're just going to glue it all on together to the base so i've glued everything around also guys you can see it has a nice shape so all in all around here we have the nice head shape that's going around the curve but at the top right along here it does come to a flat edge usually you'll want to curve in and around here i would have curved here like that but i'm going to keep it flat and open so that the ears can just sit up and come up from here and it'll let it sit a lot better this curl is very structured it's very you know straight edge it's not curved like your traditional curl it's the forehead that's more has the curve to it and then as it gets back up in here to the head it gets a lot more straight lined so there's a straight line coming here and around here and yeah guys that's all about just piece by piece taking it and then we're going to put that on to the bridge of the nose around here like that and i'll just show you that's just going to go around the front here and it's going to give him his nice strong curved nose piece put on the eyebrows let's glue it all together guys uh, I've reinforced it a wee bit just in the back. I put an extra tiny, just some thin Peltex. I put some pieces in the back to strengthen it up so that when I do wrap it in the Lycra fabric that it goes on well. But let me show you what it looks like. You know, so it does, it does do its purpose. And yeah, the shape's coming up very well too. You know, coming up. So we're just going to glue on the eyebrows here really quick. Put it like this. So we'll take, and again, like I say, at the back, I've went in and reinforced. You can just see some extra thin pieces of Paltex going on here to strengthen it up so that when I do wrap the Lycra around it, that it won't pull in on itself or it won't cave in. I have had that happen with some pieces before. Tried to put them on and they've sort of crushed under the weight of the fabric. So what I'll do here is just put this around my knee like that. And actually what I'm going to do is put it on the head mannequin. So again, head mannequins do come in very handy, guys. They are perfect for doing this kind of work. Um, just put that on there. Maybe I should have put some more glue on, but it has stuck the way that I want it. And that actually looks really, really good. I didn't think it would look as good. So... You can just see here the eyebrow piece that comes up curved has a bit of dimension to it and yeah guys i'll just go in with the other one right now and glue that on try and match them up and then once i wrap it all in the fabric this thing is gonna look good Sheet. uh so i've probably went through three or four i actually made this one a day or two ago you can see the eyebrows aren't as subtle as i would want them to be uh, the eyes aren't as big here. The nose is sort of squared off, but I want it a bit bigger. And yeah, all in all, it's a bit more curved. So it has a nice curve to it here at the top. His, like I say, is a lot more flat top. It does come off to sort of straight lines and squared off, whereas this is really curved. So I made, you could use this for a Gotham, you know, the end Gotham concept that he has. You could use that for this. I may be selling this or doing this in a giveaway. Yeah, guys, this is the new one so far, and I cannot wait to show you. So, guys, this is it with the eyebrows on. You can just see. It looks, it, it does, it has that uh, effect that I was going for previously that the other one didn't have. So, it has the open eye spaces here. It does have the pointed uh, eyebrow shape. And what we're going to do is wrap this in black four-way stretch Lycra fabric. Okay, now we do have a space open here at the back, which we will fill in, but the ears 
I'm just going to come up here like that. And you can see already the shape that it's given. This is going to be badass. So if this has helped you guys so far, thank you for watching. But that's both eyebrows glued on and take it just step by step, piece by piece. So guys, you want to uh, also have your scrap. So any scrap that you've had, you know, over the pot, you know, the process of making it, I've kept all mine. And this is what I'm going to use to strengthen the inside of the cowl. So that when I wrap it, it's not just going to cave in on itself. But yeah, that's what we're going to do now. All your scrap pieces, you want to keep them, maybe cut them into straight, you know, line strands like this. And they're just going to go around all the borders around here and then also in the head and then around here to strengthen all of this up and help it hold its shape yeah guys this is the rob robert battinson or robot button putt as everyone's calling it and the shape again is coming out very well so yep keep your scrap so just to show you guys this is on the inside here i've went in and secured up every bit of this so it's nice and secure it's nice and sturdy it's strong so when i do wrap it here in the fabric i went around the eyes as you can see right here if you just go around the eyes so when the plastic when you do apply the hot glue that it doesn't melt or you know come through the other side it is thin plastic so it sort of does the heat does want to try and warp it but if you secure all of the inside and just around the borders it'll help you secure in you know these lines coming across in here but you can already see the shape that it gives it's sort of a flat top like I said before, coming around here, comes to a nice line in here and then just down towards the side. But yeah, guys, the eyebrows look really nice and we're just about to wrap it here in the fabric. And yeah, that's just about it. All the security's done. This will make it nice and strong and sturdy. Makes it feel like a real, you know, curl, like a helmet. So yeah, that's us. See you when it's wrapped. So guys, this is the size of the fabric that we're going to use. It is four-way stretch Lycra fabric, uh, black. You can use any, you know, sort of method if you want to, if you're using EVA foam, you can prime it and then uh, spray paint it. But what we're going to be using is the fabric and then wrapping it around. So it's not that big of a piece, you know, it's, it's nothing really to it. Here's the helmet, put it around. And what we're going to do is just slowly take it piece by piece, stretch it around the edges and then hot glue it in place, make various cuts in certain areas. And yeah, the Lycra fabric will help warp around you know every crease and crevice it'll help mold all these lines together and make it look like it was uniformed so like that okay it's just going to make it look like it was came from one mold in one piece all in all and you'll see it here when i sort of do some cuts within the wrapping yeah let's get into it so far guys we've got the front so if you want you can start off here at the nose and you want to just put some glue on the inside and start to wrap the fabric around once you get that done you want to just glue in and then around here it's sort of whatever process you feel you know i like to just stretch really pull the fabric down onto itself but at the moment where i am now you can just see all this bunched up fabric but around here it's nice and clean all i have to do is just pull down on here and it sort of blends in but around here it's all bunched up so i'll just take the fabric do a big stretch pull it right back here to where all the creases just pull out of itself and the four-way stretch really does help and this is where all of those pieces on the inside here those help hold it in shape and together well when you're doing this process but you can just see it now taking shape and the eyebrows are coming through really well once we wrap those in you can just see those eyebrows coming through very prominently like that and you can also see the nose like the detailing in here won't come through until you wrap the eyes in which again we have put some security in here so yeah, guys, uh, four-way stretch black liquor. This works for flesh. It works for sort of Batman codes, Captain America helmets, if you're going to make those. Maybe an Iron Man helmet. Yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing now, just gluing it piece by piece. And you've seen the process of it so far. Watch out, just peel it back like that and then just peel it forward again. Okay, so we'll see it here when it's nearly complete. Oh, this is us so far, guys. All wrapped and curved. You can see what's going on here. You can see uh, I've cut one eye lens out and it has that nice, I, I like the bigger eye shape, it does, it gives it a better thing. You can see the eyebrow comes through right here, you know, it gives it that nice broad indent on the inside, but it comes to that nice curved point around the eyebrow. So I'll just be doing the other side, still have to just wrap this wee piece and then we'll get on to building the ears and that should be us doing with our curl. So yeah, thank you for watching this far and this has been me and my... Pattinson, Pattinson.
Now that we've got the mask wrapped, guys, again, you can use primer or spray paint to sort of coat or do yours whatever way you want. I've got mine all wrapped here. I've had some elasticated straps here in the back just to help it fold around in the head better. It gives a nice curve here. And what we're going to do now is the ears, but you can just see that eyebrow shape, the prominence that it gives. So it did work out very good. Uh, the paper templates I will be keeping for the eyebrows. But what we're going to be doing next is the ear pieces. So I used paper templates, guys, to draw out mine in two pieces. So it has one and two. So to build up your ear, what you're going to need is just basically for the one section is two essential big triangles. One side here and another side for the back. Now you can just see if you want the measurements for this up this side the long side here is 23 centimeters down this side again the back is 18 centimeters along this back end here is 14 centimeters by five centimeters at the bottom and that can the bottom can just be as wet as you want it to be along here you can see right there i've marked where my ear pieces go but i've sort of measured it out though what i think his is his thins in in the middle but what I've done is create mine with a fold in the back if you want to just create a crease so that this is all one piece. And our second piece is going to insert on the inside here. So essentially this is the way it's going to work out is this is going to be the front half. This is going to be your outer side. But with your inner, with this piece that's going to go on the inside of your ear, what you're going to do is want to make these little hinge pieces. So right here you can just see the line that comes down. These are going to be the hinge that is going to be glued on to the ear like this. You're just gonna get this hinge side right there, glue it onto the ear on that side. And then once we glue this together, it all becomes one piece. I'll wrap this all in the black fabric and it's just gonna fold around and glue on into one piece. So it's gonna be, essentially I've already cut my pieces out of Peltex. I have one piece here for the left ear and I have this for the right ear. Now this piece for this uh, section right here is a lot bigger than this one. So I'm gonna be sizing this piece down. What I've done is the Pattinson design for the ear, it sort of thins in on itself. So you'll wanna actually make these pieces that's gonna insert on the inside here. They are gonna be a lot smaller so that when it all does come together, it's gonna thin in nice. And it's gonna push in on itself and give you that nice, you know, thin line all the way around you can just see it like sort of has a curved line coming up in here and around here in the back it looks like it's going in on itself and it comes to a really fine point right up here so that's what it's doing it's actually curving in up into the ear his are very thin now you can do yours how big or small as you want what i'm going to be doing like i says i've made the hinge clips on the edge here they're just extra pieces that i went into and cut some grooves in so that it helps fold better but we'll get the helmet base here those are going to go on and insert up the top like that and it's just we'll actually bring them around at the front here so they actually are very thin but they do pull in on themselves like this they go into a really fine point up into here so that's what the Pattinson design uh, sort of has it's not like your traditional Batman code where it has a bit of you know weight to it has a bit of thickness to the ears his are very thin and they fold in on themselves and sort of come into curved lines so that's what I sort of want to do. Also, they're here at the back section of the head right here. Usually, traditionally, some of the people, they have theirs in the middle coming up in here. His are here at the back of his head around this section. And again, you, the optional, you can do the line, the stitch pattern that's going to be in his design. I'm going to work that in after. But yeah, guys, that's a sort of five minute step by step for the ears. You can do yours whatever way you want. So this is the helmet. Uh, like I said before, we have glued on the ear piece. So we had the big piece. We've glued on the inner ear piece side here with the little hinge bit so it can open and close. It's gonna fold around into another hinge piece there. It's gonna fold around, close over like that. And then we're gonna have the ear or just go on there. And now we have the buttons in ear. And yeah, you can go big or smaller, uh, however you want. I'm gonna wrap it in black fabric now you can just see here i've cut the fabric wrong but let's win the fourth gear <laughs> by the way uh so you'll want to glue it so if your ear is facing this way you'll want to glue the inner piece 
this side first, you know. So the whole reason that I made it this way is that when we wrap this all in the fabric, this side is going to look like one piece. It's just going to wrap around here nice and evenly and look symmetrical as one piece. And then here it just makes it easier to glue in. It's just going to fold in there and glue in so that it all looks like a one piece ear. But really it's actually two to three separate pieces if we want it to be. Okay, three separate sides. So you have the back, front and the side. And they all just come together, form around into a nice point or a cone shape. Yeah, guys, that's this is the reason why we made it in this way, or well, I made it in this way, so it all looks like it's one shape. This side here needs to look like it's flat or uh, in unison. So yeah, just a bit of another tip. Let's go. So we have the head base again the eyebrows and I've wrapped the piece in the black fabric uh, you can just see here so that's going to come around fold in there and we're going to glue it on and glue it together so it's going to go on like this again around the back of the head sort of curving up like that sort of or maybe leaning backward I don't know it has it has a different shape than some of the curves but if I turn it around, it goes in very thin in here. So you can just see it, it has that shape, but it goes in thin, it sort of curves in on itself. And yeah, guys, I will be gluing this together and showing you the final product in around two minutes. But to me, it's probably gonna to be tomorrow morning for you, it's gonna be two seconds. Yeah. So yeah, guys, this has been the Batman uh, Battens and Curve. We'll go into a few more details about the under mask and stuff. But we'll glue this on with just there using this side panel and then i'll do the stitch pattern as well all the stitch pattern work around that that'll probably be in a part two or maybe a part three video thank you for watching so far guys and yeah this is the buttons and patents and process i'll show you with the other ear on and it all glued on so yeah guys i've glued on both ears and i've sort of thinned them in a bit made them i filled some of them with glue so they're solid yeah this is the batman curl all in all uh, i like how it looks i might be making a v.4 but I, I love how this thing looks uh it, it gives you that uh the eyebrow shape the nose i, I don't it just makes you feel more like pattinson because it i can't wait to add in the stitch pattern but the ears do help it i may put them out slightly like that a bit more you know I, I could shape the mask up slightly differently to make the ears point in different directions but for now i love how it looks uh i hope this has helped you make your uh mask guys your helmet your code you can use this design for basically almost any kind of helmet or code base just take out the nose you you know implement the nose and the eyebrows differently maybe add in some things here I'll be adding on some stitch patterns and then I'll be going in and doing maybe some things different with the ears. Like I said, I might be doing a V.4 and I might be reproducing these, which a few people have already asked me to reproduce them. But yeah, I love how this thing looks. I have a under mask on here. This is a four way stretch Lycra face mask. I'll do a quick two minute tutorial that you'll see for that. But this is the Pattinson mask all in all or the button putt, Robert button putt. I like to call him Pattinson. The eyebrows and the eyes really came out really nicely. You guys were right. The bigger eyes do help bring the design better all in all. But that just slips on right here like that. It looks nice. So, you know, so you just you, you arc your face down like that. The way he does, he's always walking with his, his face down sort of, you know. But yeah, I'll add the collar will make it also pop a bit more. The ears, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. As always, I've been John Hay. This has been the tutorial in the process video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been trying to be Robert Pattinson. Pattinson, thank you so much, Matt Reeves, DC, and Robert yourself for doing this iteration and the costume designer. Guys, go up, look up uh, Fanatic Effects. Go look up G Zero Senpai on YouTube and also here uh, on Insta or there on Instagram and here on YouTube. But Fanatic Effects has a really good replica of this mask. So, that's been me. I'll see you in the next one, guys. I'm vengeance.